I thought Diesel was an English name. <laughs> Hello Lota, welcome back to another video. I'm happy to have you here today. So today I'm going to watch top 10 German invention. I've watched German invention videos before, but this video is going to be different because it's a new video. And I'm very sure that there are some new things in this video that I probably don't know were made by Germans or invented by Germans. Anyway, without further ado, let us watch the video and see. Let's dive into the video. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> There's no better decision than investing in high quality German inventions, especially if you want something that will make your life easier. There is a huge number of German inventions on the market. However, it can be difficult to find the right one. We have put together a list of the top 10 inventions in this video to assist you in finding the best German inventions. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm here with another exciting and informative video. Let's get into the video. Number 10. Diesel Engine Amongst the top German inventions, the diesel engine invented the pressure ignited heat engine which went on to become the predominant power source for large industries. The diesel engine, named after Rudolf Diesel. Uh. After getting his degree in engineering in 1880, Diesel returned to Paris when he designed and built a modern refrigeration and ice... Wait a minute. So, Diesel is not an English name? I thought Diesel was an English name. Like, right now I'm hearing the man's name is Paul Diesel. It means uh, Diesel is his son name. And so that's why they call it Diesel Engine. I thought Diesel was an English name. <laughs> I thought Diesel was like petroleum, I don't know, or like a name that is English. I had no idea it was a German name. refrigeration wow. and ice plant. Okay. Experimenting with steam <laughs> and ammonia vapor, Good. Diesel eventually settled on an oil-based fuel that was injected at the end of compression wow. and ignited by the high temperature wow. resulting from compression. In 1896, Diesel demonstrated an engine with an unheard of 75% efficiency and although refined many times over the years, the diesel engine that we use today is essentially I Diesel's 1896 diesel design. Diesel envisioned wow. his engine being used by individuals and small companies to compete with larger companies in areas such as farming and construction. Today, the diesel engine is indispensable in the transport and construction industries. Number 9. Bunsen Burner Bunsen The Bunsen Bunner. Burner was invented out of need and opportunity. In 1852, the University of Heidelberg wanted to hire noted chemist Robert Bunsen to head their <laughs> chemistry see? department. His name to is him, Robert Bunsen. Wow, Germans laboratory. like... Like many European cities at that time, Germans love to put their names in their in invention. I mean, but it makes sense. Like you want to be proud of your invention, so you want to slam your name to it. But like, I'm still trying to wrap my head around diesel. Like the diesel is not an English name. Wow. <laughs> at the time, Heidelberg was installing coal gas lines for street and house lighting. The designers of the new laboratory took advantage of the new gas lines and planned to install gas not only for illumination but for laboratory experiments as well. The new laboratory opened in 1855 with 50 Bunsen burners ready for students and researchers mm. to use. In 1857, Bunsen published a paper describing his burner design and laboratories around the world began to adopt his superior burner design. Number 8. Electron Microscope one of the key inventions of the 20th century is the electron microscope. It allows objects to be magnified up to 10 million times, and it has literally changed how we see the world. In 1931, the German physicist Ernst Ruska and the electrical engineer Max Noll created the first working electron microscope. Their early prototypes weren't able to magnify as much as an optical microscope, but by the late 1930s, Ruska and Noll had significantly improved the devices. An electron microscope uses electrostatic and electromagnetic lenses to form an image by controlling an electron beam that is focused on a target object. It allows objects as small as a single atom to be viewed. Work on the electron microscope halted during World War II. 
After the war, scientists from all around the world began working on improving and refining Ruska and Knoll's design. They created the scanning oh. electron microscope, which detects electron emissions from a target, allowing scientists to see more objects than is possible with Ruska and Knoll's design. They also created the reflection electron microscope, which detects elastically scattered electrons. This allows scientists to see how particles interact with other matter. Number 7. Printing Press the method of printing from printing movable type press. was invented well, I know by this. Johannes I know Gutenberg printing press sometime was around 1456. The scope of the this. invention included the creation of a metal alloy that ah, melted easily what. and cooled quickly, which was used to form durable, reusable type and oil-based ink that was thick enough to adhere to the metal type, then transferred to paper or vellum and a press. The press needed to apply firm, even pressure to the printing surface and it was likely adapted from existing vine, oil or paper presses. Gutenberg was born in the German town of Mainz and became skilled in metal working. By 1450, Gutenberg received a loan from a financier named Johann Fust to continue his printing experiments. When Gutenberg was slow to repay the loan, Fust sued and won control of the type and press. It was under Fuss' wow. name that the first printed works, the 42-line Bible and a Psalter were released. The Psalter in particular was magnificently decorated. Gutenberg's contribution was recognized, however, because by 1465 he was receiving a pension from the Archbishop of Mainz that included grain, wine and... Like, wine and clothing. I mean, but that was like years back, so must be a big deal then. Anyway, guys, let's just keep watching. Number six, radar system. Radar it was first system. indicated by James Clerk Maxwell in his yeah, groundbreaking work on, on electromagnetism that building of radar-like systems is possible. It was materialized only at the outset of the 20th century that different instruments and gadgets made use of electromagnetic principles with German scientist Christian Hulsmeyer developing a ship detection system primarily aimed to guide ships safely through the sea haze. Designing such systems which allowed the production of small radio energy pulses was an important step towards the creation of contemporary radar systems. Amongst the popular German inventions in marine engineering and aerospace engineering, radar systems picked up quick progress during World War II and were the key element that steered the Allies toward success. Nice. Number 5th, the tape recorder. The next the time you listen to music recorder. on the go, remember to thank a couple of German inventors. The first nice. practical tape recorder, the Magnetophone K1, was demonstrated in 1935. During World War II, the Allies became aware of simultaneous radio broadcasts with unusually high quality. They were aware of the existence of the magnetophone recorders, but they didn't know about the existence of high-frequency bias and PVC-backed tape. During the war, the Allies captured a number of German magnetophone recorders from Radio Luxembourg. It was an American audio engineer, John Mullen, along with the famous crooner Bing Crosby who really put magnetic tape on the map. During the closing days of the war, Mullen was tasked with learning about German radio and electronics. At a studio in Bad Neuham, he picked up magnetophone, high fidelity recorders and 50 reels of recording wow. tape. Crosby eventually invested $50,000 in the California electronics company Ampex, which became the world leader in tape recording. Number 4. The MP3 Music Format MP3, MP3 was my thing that year. MP3, oh, I was always listening to music on MP3. Like, are made smaller thank you, Jamon. Thank you for no this invention. <laughs> MPEG is an acronym for Motion Pictures Expert Group and is a group of standards for audio and video that are set by the Industry Standards Organization, ISO. The first standard, MPEG-1, appeared in 1992 and it was for low wow. bandwidth. Later on, the high bandwidth compression standard MPEG-2 was introduced which was good enough for use with DVD technology. MPEG Layer 3 or MP3 involves only audio compression. In April 1989, Germany's Fraunhofer Institute received a German patent for MP3 and in 1992 it was integrated into MPEG-1. In November 1996, MP3 received a patent in the US and in 1998, Fraunhofer began enforcing its patent rights, making developers of MP3 encoders and decoders pay a licensing fee. 
In the early 1990s, Fraunhofer tried to create an MP3 player, but it wasn't until the late 1990s when MP3 was integrated into the Windows operating system with WinAmp that playing MP3s really caught on. Number 3. Coffee Filter Molita Benz, a Dresden housewife, we don't drink coffee here. We don't drink so much coffee. So I don't even know what the coffee, why her coffee feels was like always overbrewed and bitter. She wanted to eliminate the harsh flavor created by boiling loose grinds or using the traditional linen technique of brewing coffee. Benz patented the invention after realizing she could make a more delightful cup by filtering away the loose grounds with an improvised paper filter and the family firm Melita Group KG wow. now employs about 3,300 people. Hence, we hope that this video helped you explore the earliest and greatest journey. It did, journey. especially the coffee filter. I, I still, I know, I mean, I know what it looks like, but I don't know what the coffee filter is. I don't know how to explain to you guys to understand. We don't drink coffee. Coffee filter is not something you see every day. I've never seen it. Only um, on the internet. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed my video. Please. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.